Africa's richest woman, Isabel Dos Santos, is coming under intense scrutiny. She's denied any- Isabel Dos Santos is corrupt. Much of her $3.5 billion fortune came from fraud and embezzlement, all at the expense of the Angolan people, who on average earn $30 a month. Taking on someone like Dos Santos is extremely challenging, but at Notre Dame's Washington, D.C. campus, my course on global sanctions teaches undergraduates to identify corruption and build legal cases against the perpetrators. I was drawn to Professor Kellenberg's class as somebody who was interested in public policy. During his class, I realized I could fight global corruption even as a college student. In the fall of 2020, Greg Miller co-founded the Student Policy Network, a student-run club that tackles public policy issues using tools learned from Professor Thomas Kellenberg. One of their first targets was Isabel Dos Santos. We set out to prove Dos Santos was guilty of corruption. We poured through thousands of pages of leaked documents and research from other organizations. We ended up with a dossier outlining why the US government should sanction her. I was astounded by the quality of their work. It was methodical and every claim was substantiated. Their dossier was ultimately submitted to the US Departments of State and Treasury. In December of 2021, the United States government sanctioned Isabel Dos Santos for misappropriation of funds for personal benefit. She can no longer travel to the United States. The dossier work by the Notre Dame students helped bring a strong case advocating for this action. We helped expose corruption and brought justice to the people of Angola. That was always our mission. The University of Notre Dame asks, what would you fight for? Fighting to end corruption. We are the Fighting Irish.